Hello, my name is Maeve Coleman and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Maxim Integrated. Today, I'm going to talk about how to charge a battery safely while also using Maxim's Smart Power Selector technology and the Max 8934. So first of all, what is Smart Power Selector technology? Basically, it's Maxim's answer to maintaining system power while charging a battery even when it's in a deeply discharged state. In USB and adapter powered charging applications, you must decide whether to connect the charge circuitry directly to the battery and system load, or whether to add a switch to disconnect the battery from the system load when external power is applied. The direct connection architecture shown here is the simplest, but issues arise when the battery is deeply discharged. In that case, the system may not be able to boot until the battery recharges to a certain level. That's where Maxim's Smart Power Selector comes in. This technology, shown in the second diagram here, allows the system load to use external power while the battery is in a deeply discharged state. So that brings us to the Max 8934. This is one of our battery charger ICs that uses the Smart Power Selector technology. Some other great features of this IC is that it can be powered from an AC adapter, a USB, and it charges our batteries as per JETA recommendations. But we'll get on to that later. Here I have the Max 8934A EV kit. This circuit charges a single cell lithium ion battery from either a DC input or USB and maintains system power from either input or the battery itself. So here with our first demo, we have the EV kit being charged purely from a DC input. The EV kit is charging a battery in a deeply discharged state while maintaining system load power. Now there is a DC input current limit of 2 amps. So the input supply will power the system all the way up to 2 amps. But say the system load needs 2.5 amps. The battery then kicks in and supplies the remaining current to the system load. We can see that here from the negative current coming from the battery. Now say we don't have adapter power available, this system can be powered purely from a USB. We are powering here the system load while charging my battery purely from the USB port on my laptop. And as with all portable applications, there will be times when you have neither an AC adapter or a USB input. And in this case, with the Max 8934, the battery will take over to power your system, as we can see here with the negative current coming from the battery. Another great feature of the Max 8934 is it charges batteries safely, as per JITA recommendations. JITA stands for Japan Electronics and Information Technology Association. They have developed protocols to ensure battery safe charging at elevated temperatures. So when the battery hits its upper or lower temperature limits, the charging current, the charging voltage, or both, are automatically decreased to ensure safe charging. So here with the Max 8934 EV kit, we can put on jumper 17, which connects a potentiometer to the THM pin and acts like a thermistor, just for the purpose of this demo. We can now check out how the JITA standards work with this chip. Once the battery temperature is getting closer to the limits, the charging current into the battery reduces relatively, as we can see here as I increase the potentiometer resistance. And as it comes inside the limits again, the charge current increases again. This property ensures battery safe charging. So that's all for now. Today we've taken a quick look at Maxim's smart power selector technology and safe charging with the Max 8934. For more information, see the Max 8934 product page. Thank you for watching.